Hello kids, I'm back. I hope you have completed the practice work that I gave you yesterday. Now you can easily write the four digit numbers, right? Good. Now you are ready for the next heading, which is really simple. Let's start. Now I'm going to teach you how to write face value and place value of a given digit. Face value of any digit is the digit itself. For example, if I ask you the face value of 4 in 463, it will remain 4 only. Similarly, if I ask you the face value of 1 in 1206, it remains 1, the digit itself. Easy, isn't it? Now, place value of any digit is the value it holds being in that place. That means, if I ask you the place value of 4 in 463, it will be 400 because 4 is under the column of 100. Similarly, if I ask you the place value of 1 in this number, it will be 1000 because it is under the column of thousands. Easy, right? So let's solve some exercise related to this. We have to write the face value as well as the place value of the given number. The first number is 3812. The face value of 3 will be, come on, try, exactly the digit itself, which means 3. The place value of 3 will become 3000 because it is under thousands column, right? It's easy. Now, if we go to 8, the face value will remain same, 8, but the place value will be 800 as it is under the column of hundreds. The face value of 1 will be 1, but the place value will be 1010 as it is under the column of tens. Now, the face value of 2 will remain 2, while the place value will also be 2 because it is under the column of 1's. Easy, right? Now let's try solving the other one. The face value of 6 is correct 6 and the place value is 600, is it? No, it's 6,000 because it is under the column of 1,000. Now, face value of 5, 5 as it is. But the place value is 500. The face value of 0 remains 0. And here, the place value will also be 0 because 0 when one zero is added to it, it does not make any difference. So we can also write only one zero. Now moving to nine. Face value will be nine as it is. And place value will also be nine because it is under the column of ones. Now I want you to try the third one on your own. Now you know. How to write the place value of any given digit, right? So the next heading is going to be super easy for you. Do you want to know how? Let's start. Our next heading is write in expanded form. Expanded form is nothing but the addition of place value of each digit of the given number. Let's start doing and you'll get to know. 
the place value of 4 is 4,000. Correct? The place value of 1 is 100. So, before writing the place value of the next digit, we'll write 1 addition mark plus sign. Okay? Now, place value of 3 is 30. And the place value of 2 is 2 as it is. So, if I tell you to write the expanded form of a given number, you have to write place value of each digit and you have to write plus sign in between. Easy, isn't it? Let's try one more. The place value of 9 is 9000 plus place value of 7 is 700 plus 80 and plus 6. Superb! You are very fast learners, I must say. Now, let's try the last one with me. The place value of 1 is 1000. The place value of 0, 0 as it is. The place value of 4 is 40. And the place value of 3 is 3. Very good. Now, the remaining two will be solved by you on your own. Let me see if you can do this or not. All the best.